Greenpeace wants the Copenhagen Summit to deliver a fair, ambitious and binding deal so that we can avert catastrophic climate change and so that we can ensure that our children and grandchildren's futures are secured. We expect the political leaders to act with the urgency that the situation calls for and we expect them to be there in Copenhagen to deliver this deal. Every person on this planet is going to be affected by climate change. So every voice of every human being on this planet is necessary to be heard so that our politicians will act with the urgency that the situation calls for. So we would ask people to get involved in Greenpeace, get involved in other organizations that are working for a climate solution and to become part of the solution. If people take a view that it doesn't affect me, then sadly that will mean that they're making a decision to be part of the problem. Time is running out, no question about it. However, Greenpeace believes that it isn't over until it's over. We have some precious days left for our negotiators to fulfill their obligations and deliver a fair, ambitious and binding treaty. We have seen on previous occasions at global summits where people thought everything was lost at the last minute, interventions on the convention floor was able to deliver substantial progress forward. That is what we want, that is what the world needs, that is what the world expects. The leaders need to recognize that if they fail to deliver, that history will judge them very harshly and their legacy would be a failure to save the planet for our children and grandchildren. Barack Obama understands climate change. He used the phrase, a planet in peril and the fierce urgency of now repeatedly in his election campaign. He needs to recognize that the urgency has become significantly more fierce right now, given that things are so serious with the impacts of climate change. We would say to him, coming on the 9th of December to Copenhagen, it's the right city, but the wrong date. He needs to be there with all the other 99 political heads of state who will be there towards the end of the conference. He needs to show political leadership. If he does not join and deliver a fair, ambitious and binding treaty, it will be a failure not just of uh, the Copenhagen summit, but it will be a failure of leadership on the part of Barack Obama.